They're gonna ruin the Adams Family movies, aren't they? You know, the good ones with Christina Ricci and yeah. How? First off, how? Second, I am Mecca! Bookmark the channel. This will be my top story tomorrow, I think. This is my most interesting one that I totally forgot about because it is 420 somewhere, right? Wednesday, Netflix Adams Family reboot brings back Christina Ricci. Oh, for crying out loud. I heard rumors of this one going around. Well, at least they're getting Christina Ricci. Why? We don't have Raul Julia with us anymore. Have you seen Angelica Houston lately? I have. She was in John Wick 3. All right. Are they going to be dead? Are they going to be ghosts? Please don't recast Gomez. Please, please, please. And why? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> I like the Addams Family movies. You like the Addams Family movies. I like the show. I like the cartoon series that they had a while back. I like the new stupid CGI movies. I like the remake. Because it was the same as the original show. Do we really need more? Do we really need more? Nearly 30 years after first appearing as Wednesday Addams, Christina Ricci is returning to the beloved horror franchise. I heard rumors. Long-standing rumors of Wednesday, the new series from the Addams Family Universe. It's going to be on Netflix. Here we go. Wednesday. That's all they have on it? Of course. Really? Just the Christina Ricci. I had heard rumors that they were going to do a Wednesday Adams series. I kind of assumed it would be some reboot about a mopey teenage girl. It's going to be a now show. Oh, no. I mean, maybe? Is she going to mock woke people like she did the little Girl Scouts and all the normies back then? Are they made from real Girl Scouts? I mean... It could work if they have the balls to do it. Netflix doesn't have the balls to do it, I don't think. Said that Ricci's playing an all- Oh, well, f*** then. An all-new character in the series. A series regular nonetheless. And it won't be playing an older- Oh, f*** that then. That role goes to Scream standout. Jenna Ortega. Who will be joined by the likes of Catherine Jane, Zeta Jones and Luis Guzman playing Morticia and Go- Oh, this one. This one. I thought this was an Adam's Family reboot. I didn't know that was the Wednesday one. I remember talking about this one for a while. Oh, for crying out loud. That, this is why I just went in one, in one ear and out the other, isn't it? Because it has nothing to do. It's just a reboot, isn't it? Oh, for crying out loud. Well, there goes any interest I had in it. Because tell me it's a continuation and I can tell you how it's worked with Cobra Kai and Punky Brewster remakes and reboots and no no all right we don't need this this is gonna be dumb there's somebody who already does the adult wednesday adam show yeah that's a youtube channel though uh, and it's on netflix of course so we never seen her as a teenage girl yes we kind of have though she was kind of she was like 12 or 13 in freaking second movie you know it's funny and sweet and almost charming to hear this eight-year-old's obsession with murder and bloods and guts as she gets older that nasty attitude or this biting remarks is kind of where she was she was like 12. She was like 12 or 13 in the freaking, in the, because she was older than Pugsley. She was like two or three years older than Pugsley, right? And Pugsley was like 11, so she was like 13. So, so blow me. So blow me. I don't think she, she wasn't eight years old, was she? Oh, for crying out loud. So it's like, how do we establish the character and give her the same fire without letting her become something that she's not? Also, it's an eight hour series. So for an emotionless character, there has to be some sort of an emotional arc. No, do we really need to see Teenage Wednesday crapping Adams crying in her Barbies? They're gonna change it completely. We then got the call that the visionary director and lifelong Adams fan Tim Burton wanted to make his. T oh, it's Tim Burton, the Netflix original series director Teddy Biaselli said, "Oh, hey, hey, that's the guy. That's the guy from He Man. That's the guy who did the He Mans." Said in a release when the series was first announced, Tim has a history of telling empowering stories about social outsider, socially awkward outsiders. There you go. Edward Scissorhands, Lydia Dietz, and Batman. And he hasn't been good since probably Beetlejuice and Edward Scissorhands, right? Anybody else think that Tim Burton's movies have really, really gone downhill? All those who say I. I think so. I think so. I. Oh, unique vision to Wednesday and her spooky classmates at the Nevermore Academy. Why would she be at the Nevermore Academy? Why would she be at, like, a normal school, being the outsider? So she's at a gothy academy named after Edgar Allan Poe references, <laughs> for fuck's sake. 
Previous rumors suggest that Netflix was eyeing Richie for the role of Morticia, but that doesn't appear to be the case. So she's going to be like a neighbor. You watch, she'll be like the neighbor or something. Oh, for crying out loud. I. Oh, Lord. Here I read the headline. I'm like, oh, they're doing a Wednesday show. Nope, it's going to be a teenage. All right. When did they denounce this? They announced this a while back, right? Oh, yeah, not too long. Tim, Tim Burton. It was going to be a Tim Burton one. Wednesday spinoff star. Yeah, this is only a couple months old of a story, so I don't feel too bad for not covering it too much, but for crying out loud. No more reboots, remakes, reboot -quels, sequels, prequels, none of them. They're all terrible and all boring except for Cobra Kai. That's the only good one. And the Punky Brewster one. I'm going back to my live chat. <laughs> Don't you go anywhere. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.